Managing space in CSS is about to get much, much easier thanks to a new property called Margin Trim. It's already supported by Safari and hopefully soon will be coming to other major browsers. So in this video, we'll look into why it's such a big deal. But first, let's look at the problem it solves. Consider this code. Here we add a top margin to every immediate child of the content flow element. This works well, but there's a catch. The margin is also added to the top of the very first element. And most of the time, this is not what we want. So what do we do in cases like this? One option is to use a first child pseudo class, like in this snippet. I'm not a big fan of this approach because it uses an override and while it's not a huge deal, it's still not ideal because I prefer to minimize overrides to keep the code more intentional and more maintainable. Another option is to use the not pseudo class uh, like in this snippet. This is better but it increases specificity and it makes it harder to override this rule later. So it's still not ideal. My favorite solution so far is probably the lobotomized out selector that looks like this. I mentioned it many many times on this channel. Essentially, it adds a top margin to every element that is preceded by another element. This does not increase specificity like in the previous example, so I like it a lot. This is easily like one of my favorite things to write in CSS. But like all good things, the reign of the lobotomized owl selector is about to end because we'll be able to solve this problem where the first element has additional margin by using margin trim. Let's break it down. So the second rule is the same as the one we started with. We just set the top margin on every immediate child of content flow element. But the first rule in this snippet tells the browser to trim any top margin coming from child elements at the top of the container. I think this is pretty neat. In this example, we trimmed the margins at the top of the container, but you can use any logical properties like block start, block end, and line start, and line end. So let's look at a quick demo to make it more visual. Here I have an article component with heading and content elements inside, and I want to maintain the space between the heading and the content at 0.75 rem. But I also want to add the space space between the paragraphs. So following the example that I just shared, I can say something like content flow and then select every immediate child of the content flow and add a margin. And let's use two rems. And you can immediately notice that the space between the heading and the paragraphs increase because the first paragraph pushes the heading up two rems instead of 0.75 rems. How do we fix that? With margin trim, we just define content flow and we say margin trim block start. And that's it. Like I said before, this feature is not fully supported yet. It's only available in Safari as of today, but once it's supported by all major browsers, it will make managing space much, much easier. And we likely won't need to use lobotomize owl anymore, which honestly makes me a little sad, but we can think of all the clean CSS that we write. I'll see you in the next one.